This is George from High Tech Legion. Many times when we take a look at a new product, it's actually a reworking of an existing product. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you've got an excellent existing product that actually could use a couple of minor tweaks to make it much better, then why not do it? it this is definitely the way you want to go if you're looking to put out the best product possible. This is definitely the case with the Fantex F140 HP 140mm fan. While it's based on the original F140, Fantex did make a couple of little tweaks to it to make it that much better. Taking a look at the F140HP, it is in fact made for CPU coolers. Now, getting a look at the actual physical dimensions, as you can see, it's a 140mm, but it uses 120mm mounts. This is actually pretty important, especially in the world of CPU coolers, which mainly use 120mm mounts. Also, you notice it has a very, very slim basket. This is very helpful uh, when using it in the front of a CPU cooler. It's going to give you a little bit more memory clearance than using a standard size basket on a 140mm fan. Again, multiple colors are available, red, black, white, and blue, all with the white uh, outer uh, frame. Uh, orange used to be available in the original F140, no longer available in the HP. Now, taking a look at the packaging, as you can see, standard Fantex packaging. You can see the color of the blades through the front. Uh, some nominal specs right out front there, 600 to 1300 RPM, this time with PWM speed control. Uh, four pin connector this time, so you get an upgrade there to PWM from the three pin on the original F140. 15.22 to 19 dBA, so very quiet fan, and 140 by 140 by um, 25 millimeter thickness. And taking a look at specs on the side, the uh, important things that we did not see on the front, speed 1600 to 1300 RPM, which we had said. Uh, Max airflow is going to top out now at 88.6, so you've got an increase of almost 10 CFM uh, on the airflow. And acoustical noise, 19 dBA, still very quiet. Static pressure is up to 1.64 millimeters. That is absolutely huge in getting the air through the uh, CPU cooler itself. More static pressure, more air going through the frame. So it's going to have um, a bit more power to get the air through the uh, cooling fins more cleanly so you're going to get better heat dissipation as a result. Uh, once again, as I said, four pin connector. Now let's take a look at the fan itself. It does once again use the Maelstrom Vortex design on the uh, fins, but the fins you'll notice are bent back a little bit, uh, bit more. This adds to the air pressure, is going to add to also uh, the max CFM as a result. With the fins a little bit flatter, you do get more air pressure. Once again, the Maelstrom Vortex design with the cuts in the fins. Uh, it is using a brushless motor this time, so less motor uh, acoustical noise from the motor. So going to be a very, very quiet design. You're going to have almost no mechanical noise whatsoever, and once again at a maximum of 19 dB, you're going to have very quiet air experience as well. Around the back, this time uh, four frame, uh, frame joins, also going to cut down on acoustic noise, and the twist in them also, once again, uh, makes harmonics disappear. So you're not going to have any type of mechanical noise from the fan itself. Nice um, connection points are all rubber on the bottom, small rubber pads, not huge uh, damping pads on here, but enough that it's going to be effective. All white sleeved cable, white to the end, as you see, to the four pin connection. So, good looking set of fans from Fantex. Now, let's see how they perform compared to some of their rivals. So, as you can see, Fantex really did do a nice job with the uh, F140 HP. It definitely improved on the older design, plus gave you uh, PWM so you do have more control over the fan speeds. The anti-vibration worked very well. There were absolutely no harmonics uh, from the fan whatsoever, no mechanical noise. Now, as far as the airflow goes, or I should say the air noise goes, 
Uh, it was a little bit louder than the Cougar or the Noctua that we saw in the test, but it also performed better, so it is justifiable. Now, it never also got out of hand as far as noise. They are very quiet fans, and I compared them to two of the quietest fans that are available on the market today. And it did outperform them. It was only marginally louder, not so much so that you're going to say it's a loud fan. Like I say, the uh, 140 HP is a very quiet fan by any type of standards. So with that, I'm going to give the uh, F140 HP an Editor's Choice Award. One of the big reasons for that also is the fact that they retail for $14.95 each. That's significantly less than the uh, Noctua and slightly less than the Cougar. So you're getting a top flight fan with top performance for a very, very minimal price. You're also getting a very, very well made fan for that price. Uh, the Fantex fans have fantastic life on them and we've seen in the past they just keep going and going and going. So you're getting a great fan, Great price, low noise, high performance, editor's choice. What more could you ask for?